With the hiring of the Sharks' new general manager, Mike Greer, a new era of hockey has begun for the San Jose Sharks. One of Mike's most important objectives was to find a new coaching staff. And on July 26th, David Quinn was announced as the 10th head coach in franchise history. Well, Mike and I have known each other a long time. We've actually talked about working together on a couple of different occasions. And I just know the type of person he is. I know the type of hockey guy he is. He and I certainly see the game in a very similar fashion. From the minute he got the job, he was setting a standard in a culture here that I think is going to get us back to the success this organization has had for a long period of time. So to me, it was really a no-brainer when he called me and asked me what my interest level would be. And, you know, the thing I liked about it is I had to go through a process and it certainly wasn't handed to me. He had some other quality candidates. And I was very fortunate that uh, we got a chance to work together. A new front office means a fresh start for everyone involved at training camp. Nothing is given and everything must be earned. Where they're coming from is you got to make sure that you're working hard. And, you know, dogging and you're bringing it every day. I mean, first day of training camp, they really uh, set the pace and set the tempo. Really make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're being a good teammate, good culture, treating everybody with respect. The equipment people, you know, the chefs, everybody. So I like that part of it and he sticks up for every single player, so it's not just uh, Quinny, but also uh, Mike. The practice has been intense, uh, they've been competitive, and the additions that we've made over the summer have certainly created a, a competitive environment, which you need at this level. And you know, Nobody's gonna be handed anything, that's been clear from the get-go with everybody uh, in the organization, and our guys have responded. One of several new faces to the Sharks roster is forward Luke Cunning who the Sharks acquired from the Nashville Predators on day two of the 2022 NHL Draft. We had a quick chat uh, right after the trade, and both of us were talking about how excited we were, thought it'd be a good fit for both sides, and it's both looking forward to uh, the season. I mean, I obviously would want to help uh, any way I can to get uh, you know this team back, you know, winning playoff hockey, get into the playoffs, and for myself, just get back to the player I know I am and keep making strides towards that and feel good right now and want to have a good season. Cunning's willingness to help his team is very apparent, having a strong showing in his first two preseason games. and uh, help out offensively. Good play by uh, Timo and Tommy there. But yeah, just uh, preseason right now, obviously, it doesn't, uh, doesn't count, but just want to play as good uh, you know, as we can as a group, so we're feeling the best going into game one. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Way to get back, way to get back! Luke's got an opportunity here to do a little bit of everything. Been a very reliable, hardworking player in this league. He's got the ability to score, but he takes pride in doing all these other things. And I think in our situation where he is in his career, I think he's ready to take another step offensively. And I think we're gonna put him in positions to do that. I think he's slowly getting more confidence and he understands the opportunity he's gonna have here. And he certainly seems eager to take advantage of it. Every year, there is an opportunity for younger players to earn a spot on the Sharks roster. One of those players trying to prove he belongs in the NHL is Thomas Bordalo. It's a little different for me, definitely, because I was going back to college last year, so I didn't really have that on my mind too much, like just the, the pro season and, and the full season and stuff like that. So uh, this year, it's definitely a lot different for me. I'm just ready to you know, compete, get out there, and uh, show the world what I can do. But also, I want to I be able to perform, and I want to be able to you know, be good at what I'm good at. So um, it's definitely uh, it's exciting. Time, time, time! Oh, oh, oh. oh my! Well, I had a chance to coach Bordy in the World Championships, and I just like the improvement he's made since last May. Uh, you can see he's a different player. I think his mindset's changed a little bit, as most young players that have scored throughout their careers have to do at this level to make it to the National Hockey League and be an effective player. He seems to be a lot more conscientious away from the puck. I like his work ethic. I like the pace he's playing at, and no mystery why he's uh, you know, one of our top prospects. 
Work is no longer a place. It's what you do and how you do it. That's where we come in. We're Polly. We outfit you with beautifully designed and engineered audio and video gear, letting you be seen and heard with incredible clarity wherever you work. So command the conversation with confidence and courage using any platform you want, because we work with all of them. But most importantly, we work with you. So you sound incredible and look even better. And for us, that's the only way to work. On December 11th of 2021, Kevin LeBanc suffered a dislocated shoulder in a game against Dallas. This injury required surgery, effectively ending LeBanc's season. I was just trying to win the battle, and we kind of bumped into each other, and next thing you know, I fly into the boards, and I just, you know, felt something weird happen to my shoulder. I feel it, and, you know, I just couldn't move it for a second, and went back to the bench. You know, I felt like it came back in, and uh, then I go back to the trainer's room and next thing you know uh, I'm doing a bunch of different things to make sure it's uh, tight and strong to get me back in and you know it pops back out so you know they uh, said all right you're done and once when uh, I did the x-rays uh, the next day and I believe they were just like yeah you gotta get surgery and you're gonna be out for six months so it was uh, heartbreaking news but it doesn't kill you it makes you stronger I think you know I really battled back made sure I did everything that I needed to do to get myself ready for training camp and I feel like I did a good job yeah yeah hurry yeah, hurry you got it you got it get ready Barbie get ready you're two You know, when you're up top watching the games, you know, it just doesn't, you just want to be on the ice and help the team. And, you know, obviously we didn't end the season the way we wanted to. So it just gave me that extra motivation to make sure that I'm that much more prepared for the regular season and try and uh, make it into playoffs this upcoming year. we got a great team. It's been a great uh, training camp, a lot of new faces, but we've all been putting the time and work in. Well, obviously he's been a scorer at this level and he brings offense, which we need. The thing I like, I like his work ethic. I love the fact that he's done the things he's done well in the short period of time camp has been going on. And I think he's looking to improve in areas that uh, maybe he's been a little bit deficient in. Personally, I just want to play in every single game. Uh, you know, I don't want to be injured. I, I want to play in every single game and, you know, just uh, produce offensively. Last year, I felt like we were just a little bit more defensive minded and there wasn't really much offensive production. And I want to, you know, get in there and really start producing.